guys, I'm at Mudshoot Park and Farm. Initially I planned to explore the park and farm. This is the route that leads into Mudshoot. Um, it's a beautiful, lovely, ethical pathway. Um, yeah, I'm so looking forward to today and I hope you can join me. I've arrived at Mudshoot Kitchen, um, the sun is blazing down at me, uh, it's a beautiful hot day, clear blue skies, um, yes this is actually a farm, would you believe, based in London. So many places here, there's a park, there's the farm, uh, the stables, um, so many places to explore, um, so stick with me and um, yeah, let's see what it's like. This quaint little shop that I've discovered is right near the mud chute kitchen. This lovely place I've discovered, uh, maintained by school children, um, and um, there's rabbits, there's hamsters, there's chickens, and it's so beautifully maintained. I'm about to order um, 
they have a, a breakfast menu. Um, so there's uh, the all day breakfast, the farmer's breakfast, um, free range eggs, uh, bacon, rations. So this is the full Monty when it comes to veggie when it comes to breakfast. Um, they have the vegetarian breakfast, free range eggs again, hash browns, grilled mushrooms, roasted tomato, you know, the usual thing, but it, um, it's quite a variety of different breakfast options. Um, they have the all day brunch, salmon brunch, smoked salmon, free range eggs, scrambled eggs, or toasted granary bread with lemon and creme fraiche. Wow, that sounds interesting. And uh, they have the vegetarian brunch, which is a bubble and squeak topped with free range fried eggs and grilled mushrooms. So, along with breakfast, um, they also have a dinner menu um, beef burger, pasta, gnocchi, quiche. Um, yeah, it all sounds really tasty. I think I'm going to go for the quiche uh, with spinach, mushrooms, and goat's cheese. My mistake, um, they don't just um, serve breakfast here, they also have a dinner menu, but the menu is on the wall. I think that the menu may change uh, sort of throughout the year, so they just decided to put it up on the board. But I'm so wowed out by Mudshu Farm uh, and Park. Um, I can't believe this is actually in London. Um, and it's just a short journey uh, from Bank tube station you just take the DLR it just goes to show when it comes to dining out you don't just have to stick with your local restaurant you can actually dine in so many beautiful exotic places like a farm who would have thought that you could actually dine in a, a farm in London I've just had uh, dinner, it was really nice, uh, really tasty, definitely give it a thumbs up. I'm so looking forward to going exploring, uh, checking out the horses, uh, any other animals that's here, so I hope you can stick with me. This is the closest I've ever been to a horse. Have a look. I think I'd freak if I had to go on one of their backs. It's so surreal being close to a horse. Um, they're a lot bigger in real life uh, than you think. And they're so serene, they're so calm uh, looking, like nothing would faze them. Um, wonder what they're thinking. Baby. That's a stallion. No, this is a mare. She's a uh, thoroughbred. I mean, oh, I meant a thoroughbred. Yeah. Definitely. This is the first horse I've ever touched. Oh, hey, really? Mm. You're good. Yeah, she's the biggest. Biggest. Wow, I see what you mean. Up close. Giant, you're a giant. She's aren't you? the most gentle one in on the yard. Giant. She doesn't like other horses, but she loves people. I love animals. You have a red lipstick mark. Hey, we're just on our way to find the pig farm, would you believe? I'm looking for real live pigs. 
that I can possibly touch like I touched that uh, horse, that beautiful stallion. Come on, let's go. sitting in a meadow, would you believe? Hey, I'm heading home now. What a lovely day at Monshu Park and Farm. It's totally surreal to know that I'm still in London and so much countryside, so much greenery, so many animals, um, plus Monshu Kitchen. I'm totally blown away by this whole experience. Wow, but thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.